hidden deep inside one of the United States' most prestigious cities, sits a dormant eyesore that once was home to a family of Egyptian travelers. They bought the property in 2011 with the goal of turning their extravagant beachfront property into an appealing haven of success. They customized it with the best furniture money could buy and even bought a fleet of luxury cars to finish their dream off. However, tragedy struck after Hurricane Sandy barreled through the coast in 2012, destroying their home and the ones of others on the road as well. Having a lot of their dream destroyed was something they could never imagine, and since money was already short because of the renovations, thoughts of uncertainty about what would happen to their home arose. To save his family and his long dreamt of home, Mr. Abdul turned to crime. Him, along with the help of his friend, started falsifying documents to trick the bank. However, they soon became aware of what was going on and opened a bank fraud case against Mr. Abdul, in which the police eventually raided the house and arrested him and everyone involved. Shortly after, the rest of the family was sent out being forced to leave everything behind. Now, ever since 2015, luxury cars, jewelry, money, and even family photos lay discarded and deserted inside a once palace of wealth. Come along as we explore and uncover the mysteries of this home and what made it so great. Alright guys, so we just made our way inside this beautiful mansion and I gotta say, it is pretty insane. We just waited maybe four hours, we took a nice nap upstairs because we did get here very early when it was dark, but we did not check out any of the house other than the third floor where we camped out. So I'm definitely very excited to check it out. And it does look like everything, but everything is still left behind. There even could be cars in the garage, I don't know, we have to check that out. But just as we first check in and we can see the grand staircase, we could tell it's just gonna be good. Beautiful chandelier up top and some amazing architecture as well. Some great carpet on the stairs going up to the second floor. And of course the railings too, great design to them. And as you walk in, you could either go upstairs, to the left, straight or to the right. So I think we'll go left first, check that out. And then there does appear to be an office right here. So we'll definitely see that. And the history of this place, which you just heard in the intro, is pretty wild for sure. So this could be where the man did some of that, you know, and really funded some of the money for it, gave the green light, whatever. So definitely is pretty insane to, you know, be in the very room. Very nice chairs though, for sure. I definitely do like it. Reminds me of some like White House chairs. That one too. And it did look like they had a kid. Of course, you know, a lot, I'm seeing a lot of baby stuff, a lot of kid stuff just as soon as I walk in. And there is that written on the wall. I'm not sure what that says. If any of you guys know that, definitely let me know in the comments below. And this right here is the coolest closet probably I've ever seen. It kind of resembles some house or maybe, you know, some giant building but the architecture is just insane. And you could close these doors and the inside would just be hidden. However, if you look inside, there's not much stuff to see. Maybe a few pieces of clothing, papers, of course, a lot of that. And more kid stuff up there too. I wonder what the kids are doing, what they're up to, you know? However, as we walk to the, li I think this is the living room, but this is one of the living rooms because this house does have multiple, it seems like. Beautiful fireplace. And of course, one of the best architectures I've ever seen. And this reminds me, if I'm in the Middle East, this reminds me of the Middle East and like those countries around there, just because of the coloring and the designs and definitely this stuff right here too. I do very much like the drapes and the window coverings as well. They had good taste in that. And it does seem like there's a piano and a bar and a lot of other stuff there as well. However, let's see this side first. Oh, they had another bar right here too. Nice. 
And there probably was a TV mounted up there at some point as well. Not sure what happened to that. This property is foreclosed, I'm pretty sure. That's kind of what we could figure out. But maybe it was looters, I don't know. Some nice storage areas, and for sure, very, very nice couches as well. Printer. As we walk along, of course, we see a stroller. As we found out, they do have around five kids. I don't know if they have more or less, but five is what we could come up with, realistically. Jeez. Look at that piano, guys. We always see pianos in abandoned houses and mansions, but this one's just different. This one has a touch, but not even a touch, a feel of luxury. And we can even see dust and a little, a little bit of mold. I don't know if it's gonna come up on the camera, but there's definitely mold growing on it. Let's see if it works. Put the light down. Oh, that's crazy it actually works. That reminds me of my my grandma's grandfather clock. Just the noise it makes. Oh my goodness, take a look at this room. This is definitely the main living room right here. And this is what you see if you walk in the house and just go straight. I don't think it appears on camera how big and grand this room actually is. And we can even see that a Mac uh, monitor is still left behind there. Oh, and even the lighting. It's a shame this place doesn't have power, because if it did, it would be insane. The family does seem to like animals a lot. I'm not sure if the kids like them, that's why they had them around. But, definitely very nice for sure. We see the grand staircase and the, the main entryway from another angle as well. And I'm definitely impressed. Seeing all this stuff just amazes me. And it's really insane to find one of these places on your own because you don't know what to expect, you know? I haven't, I haven't seen pictures of this or anything, you know? So I don't, everything is new to me pretty much too, right? Wow, that's big too for the time. We found out this place was abandoned around 2015. So, giant kitchen though right here. And this seems to be a kitchen table. You know, we can have some quick meals, maybe breakfast. Nothing fancy though. I'm sure we're gonna see right through that hallway, a grand, huge dining room. Biggest kitchen I've ever seen though, for sure. And I do love the island right here, just for stoves and cookers and stuff like that. Very amazing light as well. And I like the coloring up on the ceiling. Huge TV too. That's massive, wow. The, the wife or husband, whoever was in the kitchen could definitely cook up a storm in here for sure. No doubt about it. And even right here, we could see it's really amazing. None of this stuff has been vandalized or looted or trashed, you know? In a lot of these places, you would just find the stuff smashed on the floor. But no, not this spot. It's all still here. Multicolored glasses, fine china, everything. Goodness me. <laughs> This light, I like this a lot. Oh, wow. And of course, all their appliances are still left. I don't see any food around. Let's take a look in the fridge if there is anything inside. No, it's completely gone. There's nothing, no food or anything of that sort inside the fridge. However, all their appliances are still left, which is kind of weird. But of course it makes sense at the same time since everything is left. Really is sad, really is crazy for sure. Wow. Either way though, let's move on. and Let's take a look at the rest of this mansion. That's it right there. That's what I was talking about. That's the dining room right there. But first, let's take a look at this. Very nice pool table. A lot of the balls are missing and half of the stickers as well. And I think right here is a little pocket Quran. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm sorry if I'm not. They even put design into this pool table. I don't know if this is custom made. I feel like it might be. Again, they do have money to spend. 
you know, so it definitely might as well be. Very nice painting too. This looks like uh, Venice. This is by John Kartik. Karik. John Karik. If you guys know who that is, definitely let me know. Wow, though. That box right there is definitely for the TV we saw in the kitchen for sure. No doubt about it. But we could even see that the plates and the table mats right here are still set just as they left it. It's like they were going to have a meal but never got to it. And there's even some more baby photos. And what's weird about this place, I don't know about on the second floor, but so far I haven't seen any photos of the parents, only the kid. So I don't know if that's like against the religion or it was just taken out after this place was raided. If it even was, I don't know. More holy books right here. They were definitely religious, 100% about that, but wow. All the pottery and uh, you know, cups still left behind. Nothing normal, everything here is fancy. However, before we go to the second floor though, there is a little wing over here. And I'm really excited to see this because this does lead to the basement and the garage. I'm super excited to see the garage because there very well may be a car in here. Maybe even two, three, four, whoever knows. I don't even know. I'm super excited to be here though for sure. All right, but through here, no way. There's a, there's a car in here. Dude, Does that have Benz? Uh... No way, another one. Yo, this what car is, is that? Dude. Oh my goodness. First time I've ever seen real luxury cars at a place. And these are definitely special. I think this is like a rare BMW. Too. Is it? It definitely so. looks luxury. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's like a new one too, like a newer one. Actually, wow. Let's see if we can take a look inside. I hope it is unlocked. Is it unlocked? It is. Man, no it way. Is. Take a look at that. It's like pretty muddy in there. Or is that blood? That, that could be blood. Is that blood? I don't know. Was he like shot in here like an assassination attempt? An assassination? No way. That's, that would be crazy. Actually, oh my, I don't know. Inside, definitely very luxurious. I would love to drive one of these for sure. Yeah, dude. They even have TVs on the back, I think. TVs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. look. They do. Wow. That's insane. They drove a luxury for sure. Oh my goodness. Very dark in here. Very moldy as well. It sucks. It's just sanding here. Did you check out the other car as well, or just this one? Uh, let's, let's check out that one. All right. Wow, oh, that one's so definitely so more of a family vehicle to carry all of their kids. Wow, yeah, definitely very dirty. It doesn't smell bad inside. It smells like a, a nice car, but very luxurious, no doubt. And I think there are probably TVs on the back of this one too, right? Dude, there are. There are. Wow. No way. Yeah, this is definitely a nice, luxurious car. There even is a back seat as well to hold all their kids. Oh, <laughs> that's insane. I love how we found cars at this abandoned mansion. That's so rare to find. This is really one of the best places we've ever seen. I can't wait to go upstairs and take a look. And you see that leads to a gym, right? That door right there? Yeah. Really? Yeah, no way. Somebody opened it too, like broke in. And everything is still in there yeah, too. Yeah, all the equipment is still left behind. None of it's like free weights, it's just a bunch of cardio machines. Wow. It smells like a gym too, you smell like the rubber. Beautiful TV, and the stuff hang on the wall too. Oh yeah, I didn't see that. Do you know what that says? No, <laughs> you speak gross in English. Oh. In the comments, tell us down below if you can read this language. For what sure, it says. very interested. Very crazy to find a gym, and even a gym with everything still inside too, for sure. It does look like they did some work to try to secure this place. They put boards on these windows. Not on a lot of them, just these two. And then maybe a few others, a handful of others. It's a beautiful place either way. I'm so excited about this. And I'm really happy to be able to go to the second floor and take a look at what's over there. So as we finally get to the top of the stairs, we're immediately introduced with this first room. And this happens to be the master bedroom it looks like.
this is absolutely beautiful. And this nice terrace, I'm sure you could just, you know, sit out here on a beautiful day. And you know, watch the sunrise or the sunset. That old dock or pier over there is really nice too. Wow. Either way though, let's get into the room. I am super excited, check it out. First thing we see, massive, massive bed. And the curtains behind it as well do not disappoint. Wow, look at the detail and the design to them. Really insane. And of course some couches next to it. And this is really frozen in time. It, this has not been touched since it was abandoned. Jeez. And it looks like through that door right here is a master bathroom and then closets probably. And this used to be a TV as well, but it does seem like it was a uh, vandalized or destroyed. There's just a giant box TV in there. And of course there are some other clues that they did definitely have kids. But as we walk through, we're immediately encountered with this beauty right here. With marvelous red carpet on the bottom as well. Wow. Those pillars though, the, sym the symmetry in this room is absolutely great. I love it so much. Look at the architecture on the pillar. This reminds me of like Rome, ancient Rome, with all the design appreciation that they have. And there's even this old TV right here to watch while you're taking a bath. And of course a fancy toilet. We're not, we're not gonna see a boring old toilet at a mansion this size. But anyway, here we are. Look at the detail into that faucet. And the, the dust growing on it. You guys always comment that there's no dust, no dust, there we go. And the soaps are even still here. Shout out to Dial. <laughs> this is also really cool. That really matches the vibe of this bathroom. This is a boat, you know, and you know, water, but <laughs> it looks like a Christmas wreath up there. And of course, a beautiful view of the outside of the lake. And there is a fridge here and a microwave in that corner as well. Not sure why. Not sure why they would have that in the bathroom, but let's take a look inside either way. And they did take it out. Because we saw on the first floor they had all the food gone. And they have it gone here too. So I don't know if the bank came in and uh, emptied it out. Empty the food out at least. But of course, all the products are still left behind. I don't recognize a lot of this stuff, so. Uh, especially Nexus, so. It's either old or, you know, too fancy for me to bother to have. The faucets are also really cool too. Yeah. There is no water or power in this house, which kind of sucks, but you know, it's all good. Not a worry. And the shower even is massive itself. And take a look at the number of knobs and controls it has. Jeez. In my bathroom, my shower only has one knob. And that's it. This is like 10. It's really crazy. And through here's the closet, the giant closets they had. And I'm sure there would have been clothes hanging all over here. Unfortunately, it's all over the floor. The bank might have done that as they were clearing things out. I don't know, there may be even vandals. Just the amount of stuff and the amount of clothes, they took nothing with them. Everything is left behind. And then, what did, what did you say about it? Dude, there's like an open, like, s like secret door over here. Oh, so that would be like for clothes and closets and stuff. And then when you open, oh, no way. Yeah, see, like move. Whoa, that's like a secret room. Oh is that safe? Dude, there's a safe. It looks like they try to break in too. No way. They obviously failed. Which is a shame, but they even try to take this metal off too. Wow. Let's see if we That's the No, imagine if you could open it. Yeah, work. this is a heavy safe though. Imagine dude. Look at look they tried to angle grind and they couldn't get in. Even with an angle grinder. Oh yeah. Imagine what's in here. What could be there? Dude, dude jewelry, money. Money, guns. Oh wow. my gosh. Gold. <sighs> I mean they were like We have to get in yeah. there, dude. Somehow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we can't today. Holy but before we leave this area of the mansion and explore the rest of the second floor, one thing I did forget to mention, or even see, I just saw it now, is this little partition. And it looks like there's another room on the other side of it. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, so this is a kid's room. They 100% had kids now. Let me pull out my light. Of course, I apologize if it is dark, but they even had a car bed. I've always wanted one of these when I was a kid. I love like Lightning McQueen and red cars and stuff. No way. And the kid pretty much had his own little living room. The own couches, a huge TV in this corner too. As we walk out from the master bedroom and everything around it, we could see another angle of the master staircase, but from the top, and take a look at the chandelier too, and all the balls and the jewels. Chandeliers are expensive. I'm sure this one could be worth quite a lot of money. And of course, once again, appreciating the architecture up on the ceiling and everything around it. This is really rare to, you know, have so much appreciation in a house like this. And of course, the details on the railings. It's beautiful. But either way, we can either go to that side right there, or we can go to the right side of the second floor. We'll go with this side right here at first. And one thing I did notice is that there's so many clothes just in these boxes or on the floor. And so I don't know what was going on, but it did look like they were packing for something. I don't know what, but they were doing something for sure. And as we continue going, we can even see that there's a third floor. So we definitely have to check that out. My expectations are super high right now. But this looks like a little lounge area right here. This is really cool. And take a look at the glass. This is the main entryway right here. Let me shimmy my way. And it is definitely getting pretty dirty. We can see a lot of dust and a lot of just stuff forming around over there. And that's the front door that you walk in from. This is it from another angle. But yeah, it's beautiful. Either way though, we have two rooms on this side and that will be the bathroom. It's a beautiful bathroom for sure. I do love the blinds at this house. They don't disappoint. And they have a really good Middle Eastern feel to it, which of course makes sense since they are from that area. But of course a beautiful sink. I do like these sinks a lot though. The water passes through here and then falls like a nice waterfall. I think there is soap here too. No. But look at this. Wow. This is really cool too, this little giraffe here. They definitely do love animals. And of course a toilet. And there is still toilet paper and toothbrushes still left behind. In addition to the soap and the shampoo and the shower. Walking out that we can see this left wing from a different angle. And of course the stairs going up to the attic. Or to not the attic, that's, that's definitely a third floor. I can't get over that chandelier in the main entryway, how nice it is. It's absolutely gorgeous. But either way, we do have one more bedroom here. And this one is frozen in time as well. Everything is left behind. Even the beds are made. And in this one, you could even see, it looks like he got up and he just wasn't able to make the bed back again. Stuffed animals are still up here on the dresser and there is water or some type of liquid down there. These flowers are not real. These are definitely fake. So I'm not sure why there's water down there, but there is. Let's see what's in these. This might have been a kid's bedroom. I think so. And so there are a lot of kid stuff right here. There's some Crayola crayons. I like those. And of course, we can't exclude the beautiful blinds on the windows as well. She did have some nice decorations though. I don't know how old she was when she lived here, but those vases or pots are definitely very nice. She definitely did have homework. She might have gone to an uh, Arabic school because the alphabet, lesson one. Huh. They are very similar. I've never seen, never seen this. That's really cool. Nice. But either way, they did have around five kids 
And so they, I mean, the house is huge. They definitely might have not had to share, but she had two beds for some reason. And even that fox, is that fox? There is some stuffed animal over there. Shout out to that. I'm a, I was a big stuffed animal person when I was younger. So I definitely understand. But either way though, as we go along to the other wing, it does look a bit bigger than this one. I got light now though, so we can go with this wing right here. So let's take a look. This is the first place we're gonna see. And it does look like it branches off, the hallway branches off into a bathroom and it looks like another bedroom over there. But at first, let's check this one out. And of course we pass by the elevator. Again, shout out to that. I have been seeing a lot of elevators in mansions recently. I don't think they're that rare, but here we are. Definitely a kid's bedroom, just based on the wallpaper. You see Lightning McQueen, Doc Hudson, all that stuff. Buzz Lightyear, shout out to that. No way, Toy Story was a good movie. They definitely had nice beds though, for sure, and the bed frames are definitely impressing me. Look at that. And another indication that they were from the Middle East. They 100% were. And the history of it is kind of messed up as well. So it definitely is pretty wild that we actually, you know, made it in here. And that we're here right now. Even the dresser is super nice too. Of course the detail. They did not spare anything with making this place the best they could. And I respect that. I understand that for sure. And as we go along, we see the other bathroom pretty nice shower this one is nice as well definitely not the nicest we've seen but you know it serves its purpose this one's pink so maybe for the kids and this bedroom right here we can't actually go inside because the windows are all open and there are a lot of mansions around this area and they could definitely look in so we'll just explore this room from here double bed for sure very nice coverage as well I see some papers hanging around over there, but nothing too important. It is a nice bedroom for sure. So here we are, a very narrow staircase, but it does go up quite a bit. So I am excited and quite nervous to see what's up here. Wow, it looks like just one room and it may be a viewpoint kind of, maybe like a tower, maybe a watchtower, I guess. Wow, it looks like a lounge area. You can just chill here and you can just look. You look at the water. Wow, guys. Wow. <laughs> the view here. We got here at like 4 a.m. and we just rushed over to this room. We didn't see anything else. And we just went straight for this room and just took a nap until about seven, so three hour nap. And then we were able to watch the, sun, the sunrise. Most beautiful thing you've ever seen. It's gorgeous. The view this is definitely amazing for sure. And of course, shout out to that dock right there. They did have some nice couches though. I slept right over here. <laughs> it's very nice, very comfortable actually too. But it's two very, very large couches for sure. I'm sure they spent a lot of time in this one room right here, just appreciating the view. You know, and just being able to see what they had. Very beautiful. Ever since 2015, the property has laid empty and disused, drawing uncertainty of what the future of it will ever be.